I'm still disappointed by the BBC's response. The BBC talks about a gender pay gap, but what I'm talking about is not a gender pay gap where sometimes men and women are in different roles which explain the differences in pay. What I'm talking about is pay discrimination, which is when men are paid more for doing the same job or a job of equal value. Now that is illegal and I think it's time the BBC stopped being in denial stopped its bunker mentality, actually negotiated with women about how to solve this problem. Because at the moment, good women are getting very frustrated. Their patience, their goodwill, their loyalty is being exploited. And this has to stop. I think the scale of feeling, not just among BBC women, um, but also just more widely uh, across the country and also internationally, the support that I've had in the, last, in the last few hours over this, I think it does speak to the depth of hunger for an equal, fair and transparent pay system. If it doesn't approach this with greater seriousness, we will risk at the BBC a very damaging legal defeat for the organisation and we will risk the exodus of talented women at the BBC and I would hate to see that. I am a loyal member of staff of 30 years standing. I want the BBC to be the best it can. Given that the grievance hadn't reported back, I could not go back to China and collude knowingly in what I consider to be unlawful pay discrimination. I could not do it nor could I stay silent and watch the BBC perpetuate a failing pay structure by discriminating against women. I can't do it.